Hello everyone, this is the Leech again, bringing you game three in a best of three uh, between Empire Cost, the Yellow Terran in the top right, on Zelnaga Caverns, and Mao's Mana, the Red Protoss in the bottom left here. Um, these games, once again, are from the Black Dragon League, and uh, the series is tied up at 1-1 at this time, so I'm sorry if you're watching them out of order, I just kind of ruined it for you, but uh, you should be watching them in order, so come on. Um, both players here playing extraordinarily well, and they're uh, very entertaining to watch, of course. So hopefully we will have another entertaining game here for everyone. Um, first pylons and supply depots will be coming down here shortly. Uh, Empire Cost putting the supply depot at his front, so a possible wall off coming in for him. Uh, once again, I hope everyone has been enjoying the videos, and if you are, please go subscribe to Delete StarCraft. Um, that way, eventually, I will get to the point where I can upload unlimited videos, and that would be very nice because these are a real pain in the butt to uh, upload if they're longer than 15 minutes. So, yeah, I would appreciate that, and uh, you guys can keep uh, keep up with all the games that are coming out. The barracks coming down now for Empire Costs, as well as the gateway for Mouse Mana, and scouts starting to head out for Mouse Mana to check out what's going on. Chrono boosting on the Nexus to get some extra probes out which is very standard and he will most likely do every single game. Gateway is about halfway done as well as the barracks and the simulator coming down for um, Mao's mana but there is no refinery yet for Empire Cost so he's not doing that uh, one racks and gas right after that's kind of interesting. Um, Empire Cost trying to get walled off here but he actually cancels the supply depot to attack that probe so the probe is going to get in and be able to scout around for quite a while. The barracks and the gateway finish for both players and the orbital command is on the way for Empire Koss as well as that other supply depot to wall himself in. So he is going to need this marine out to get rid of this probe and Empire Koss actually I don't believe has scouted at all. No he is not so he's playing show style here. Just not going to worry about anything. Just uh, going to play do his build and hope that it works out the way he intends it to. Uh, Orbital Command finishing up here. He'll be dropping his mule shortly, I'm sure. And another command center coming down. That's kind of bold to drop all that probe still in his base. We'll see if Mal's Mana actually caught that. No, he did not. So that's kind of lucky of Empire Cost that uh, that did not get caught. I'm taking a look at the APM of both players here in the tug of war style. Mal's Mana looking to be a little bit ahead. That's eh, it's really going back and forth. Both these players just trying to keep their hands warmed up for the micro later on that surely will come. Chrono boosting the warp gate this game, uh, so we'll see if he decides to go for warp gate or anything of that sort by Mouse Mana. Uh, one zealot out for him, and he does have uh, just a few more probes than Empire Cost, which is completely normal with those chrono boosts. So 21 probes, 18 SVs, 22 probes now with a stalker out as well. And both players pretty much tied up pretty even at this time. The big difference being this expansion that was thrown down by Empire Cross uh, inside or command center that was thrown down inside his base. A bunker coming down for Empire Cross as well so he is worried about some early pressure here um, which at warp gate is about 75% done and it does not look like Mao's mana is expanding or here he comes to prove me wrong maybe. Thrown down a pylon next to his natural and he is kind of saving up money here, so we'll see if he decides to throw down this Nexus. He is going to throw down that Nexus. So he's proving me wrong once again. Who doesn't prove me wrong nowadays? That is okay. Uh, one Stalker pushing up here for uh, Mana to see if there is an expansion down. He's going to see that's not down, but he still doesn't know that there there is this uh, Orbital Command built inside the base here. So Empire Cost just... Uh, Making SCV as fast as he can, or does have stim on the way from that tech lab as well as another as a factory being thrown down. So going fairly bio heavy here, um, but getting that factory up, who knows what tech he will go this time. Uh, two marauders and two marines heading down to the lower ground here. We'll see what they decide to do. Probably just checking to see if any push is coming. Back to the production tab here. Seeing stim is about a quarter of the way done with three more gateways on the way for Mr. Mao's mana kind of throwing them in uh, strategic spots here so a scan might not catch everything so that'll make four gates soul for him his nexus is just about to complete another bunker is coming down for empire cost he's getting ready to move his orbital command his extra orbital command down so throwing down a, some bunkers here early on to make sure 
uh, probes and such, or SUVs and such won't get picked off later. Another two gateways are on the way, four miles man, a reactor coming down for Empire Koss, and that bunker just about to finish from as well. A starport started as well. Uh, that reactor will probably be switched with the starport so you can start to get Vikings. Supply is still looking very similar. And uh, looking at our income tab here, Empire Koss will probably jump ahead here uh, for a little bit just due to mules. Um, actually, it'll probably stay fairly even here. He's actually behind right now by a little bit, but once some more mules come out, he'll be a little bit ahead. He is about four harvesters behind. And uh, Miles of Mana starting to move out here with multiple sentries, a stalker, and a few zealots. So this could be a very interesting attack. Looking at the unit's loss tab, it's only been 100 so far, and I believe that was probably two probes. Not 100% sure, so really nothing has happened as of yet. Both players just kind of uh, choosing what route they want to go here. Miles Mana deciding to take down these rocks at the gold expansion. Uh, Empire Cost stimming up though to come take out a bunch of units here. Nice force field by Miles Mana to try and get his units away, but it's not going to work. Guardian Shield going down and Empire Cost might take out all these units without much trouble. And he is going to drop all these else. Three more Stalkers coming in though, and very weak units due to stim being used. So, looks like, yeah, Miles Mana is definitely going to be able to clean this up. And uh, Miles Mana does have a proxy pylon down right here. There is two bunkers down for Empire Cost, but nothing inside of them. More barracks on the way for Empire Cost, getting Marine Combat Shields on the way. And it uh, looks like some medevacs coming out for him. But Miles Mana is prepping for a big push, throwing down another proxy pylon there. And he does have quite the grip of units. Uh, looking at the tabs here, it looks like he is quite a ways ahead with five stalkers, four zealots, four sentries, there's five marines, and one rotter and a medevac. So if he pushes here soon, he is going to do a lot of damage. He is about 16 supply ahead right now, so that is a decent amount. Looking at the units lost have, they're just about dead even. Guardian shield being popped, and Miles Mana really uh, dedicating himself to this push here. Big mistake by Empire Cost not having those units in the bunker. Nice force field to block those SVs from coming out and repairing. A third bunker does finish, but Empire Cost does not have the units to fill it in. Throwing down another force field here to block reinforcements from coming in, and I don't see how Miles Mana can lose this time. Empire Cost pulling SVs, but they just get annihilated when they get close. Bunkers going down, and uh, Miles Mana is probably going to take this game. A proxy pylon being thrown down a little further up here. Concussive Shell is just about to finish for Empire Cost, but it will not be enough. He does not have enough units out on the field right now. Empire Cost, instead of saying GG right off the bat, just giving it dot, 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 dot. Can't believe, and never mind. And there goes the GG. Uh, so great series by both player and Miles Mana coming out ahead. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I do, and I'll probably have another cast coming out a little later today for you guys to enjoy. Maybe even a cast with my buddy when I get up to his house. We'll be doing some, uh, some partner casts. So we will see what happens with that. Hope you guys enjoyed the replays today. And uh, if so, I hope you subscribe so you can check out the other videos that are coming out later. Thanks again, and have a wonderful day.